Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Reproduction in Organisms. Question number 1. The terms homothallic and monoecious are used to denote Option A. Unisexual condition. Option B. Bisexual condition. Option C. Staminate flowers. Option D. Pistillate flowers. The correct answer is Option B. Bisexual condition. In some organisms, both kinds of gametes are produced by a single individual, that is, both sexes are present in a single individual. Such organisms are called bisexual, hermaphrodite, or monoecious. Question number 2. The most significant feature of vegetative propagation is that Option A. It is a method of producing a large number of individuals genetically identical to the parent. Option B. It is a method of producing a large number of individuals genetically different from the parent. Option C. It ensures that the progeny individuals are resistant to diseases and pests. Option D. It is an age-old practice. The correct answer is Option A. It is a method of producing a large number of individuals genetically identical to the parent. Vegetative propagation is a form of asexual reproduction of a plant. Only one plant is involved and the offspring is the result of one parent. The new plant is genetically identical to the parent. The offspring of the plants are clones of the original plant since no mixing of DNA occurs. The most common forms of vegetative propagation are grafting, cutting, layering, tuber, bulb or stolon formation, suckering and tissue culture. Question number 3. In animals, juvenile phase is followed by Option A. Reproductive phase. Option B. Senescent phase. Option C. Old age. Option D. Vegetative phase. The correct answer is Option A. Reproductive phase. In animals, the juvenile phase is followed by morphological and physiological changes prior to active reproductive behavior. Question number 4. External fertilization occurs in majority of Option A. Fungi. Option B. Liverworts. Option C. Algae. Option D. Mosses. The correct answer is Option C. Algae. Algae are simple without thallus. Autotrophic non-vascular plants having unisexual organs and no embryo formation. The sexual reproduction in algae is of three types isogamy, anisogamy and oogamy. Here the gametes are formed and the fertilization of gametes takes place outside the algal body. Question number 5. Vegetative propagation in pistia occurs by Option A. Sucker Option B. Offset Option C. Runner Option D. Rhizome The correct answer is Option B. Offset In pistia, water lettuce Vegetative propagation occurs by offset where one in ten mode long runners grows horizontally along the soil surface and gives rise to new plants either from axillary or terminal buds. Question number 6. Sugarcane is propagated by Option A. Stem cutting Option B. Leaf buds Option C. Root cutting Option D. Seeds The correct answer is Option A. Stem cutting. Stem cuttings or sections of the stalks called sets or seed pieces propagate sugarcane. Each set contains one or more buds. The buds, located in the root band of the node, are embryonic shoots consisting of a miniature stalk with small leaves. Question number 7. A multicellular, filamentous alga exhibits a type of sexual life cycle in which the meiotic division occurs after the formation of zygote. The adult filament of this alga has Option A. Haploid vegetative cells and diploid gametangia Option B. Diploid vegetative cells and diploid gametangia Option C. Diploid vegetative cells and haploid gametangia Option D. Haploid vegetative cells and haploid gametangia The correct answer is Option D. Haploid vegetative cells and haploid gametangia a multicellular, 
filamentous alga that exhibits a type of sexual life cycle in which the meiotic division occurs after the formation of zygote. The adult filament of this alga has haploid vegetative cells and haploid gametangia. This type of life cycle is called the haplontic life cycle. Question number 8. Offspring formed by sexual reproduction exhibit more variation than those formed by asexual reproduction because Option A. Sexual reproduction is a lengthy process. Option B. Gametes of parents have qualitatively different genetic composition. Option C. Genetic material comes from parents of two different species. Option D. Greater amount of DNA is involved in sexual reproduction. The correct answer is Option B. Gametes of parents have qualitatively different genetic composition. Asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction by which offspring arise from a single organism and inherit the genes of that single parent only. During sexual reproduction, fertilization creates a single cell zygote which includes genetic material from both gametes. Therefore, the complex mixture of genetic material causes a great variation in the offspring. Question number 9. There is no natural death in single-celled organisms like amoeba and bacteria because Option A. They cannot reproduce sexually. Option B. They reproduce by binary fission. Option C. Parental body is distributed among the offspring. Option D. They are microscopic. The correct answer is Option C. Parental body is distributed among the offspring. There is no natural death in single-celled organisms like amoeba and bacteria. It is so, because of asexual reproduction, the body of the parent cell is divided into daughter cells. So, in effect, there is no practical death in amoeba and bacteria. Question number 10. There are various types of reproduction. The type of reproduction adopted by an organism depends on Option A. The habitat and morphology of the organism. Option B. Morphology of the organism. Option C. Morphology and physiology of the organism. Option D. The organism's habitat, physiology, and genetic makeup. The correct answer is Option D. The organism's habitat, physiology, and genetic makeup. The type of reproduction adopted by an organism depends on organism's habitat, physiology, and genetic makeup. The habitat determines the type of reproduction like if the organism lives in a habitat which favors mating or promotes cross-fertilization or cross-pollination it undergoes sexual reproduction while if the habitat supports self-pollination and restricts mating asexual reproduction takes place. Physiology is also determining factor for sexual or asexual reproduction. For example, if the male or female sex organs mature at different time the unfertilized gametes develops into an individual bipartinocarpy which is a form of asexual reproduction. If the male or female sex organs mature at the same time sexual reproduction takes place. Genetic makeup also determines the type of reproduction. Somatic cell favors the asexual reproduction while the germ cell favors the sexual reproduction. Question number 11. Appearance of vegetative propagules from the nodes of plants such as sugarcane and ginger is mainly because Option A. Nodes are shorter than entomodes. Option B. Nodes have meristematic cells. Option C. Nodes are located near the soil. Option D. Nodes have non-photosynthetic cells. The correct answer is Option B. Nodes have meristematic cells. Vegetative propagation is asexual reproduction from various parts in plants. In plants, such as sugarcane and ginger, appearance of vegetative propagules from nodes is because of presence of meristematic cells in them. Meristematic cells have the ability to divide to form new cells which can differentiate and given rise to permanent tissues. Question number 12. Planaria's most remarkable characteristics are its ability to Option A. Hibernation. Option B. Survive without air. Option C. Generate bioluminescence. Option D. Regenerate.
The correct answer is Option D. Regenerate. Planaria exhibit an extraordinary ability to regenerate lost body parts. For example, a planarian split lengthwise or crosswise will regenerate into two separate individuals. Some planarian species have two eye spots that can detect the intensity of light, while others have several eye spots. Question number 13. The development of root and shoot in tissue culture is determined by underscore. Option A. Temperature. Option B. Nutrients. Option C. Oxygen and cytokinin ratio. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Oxygen and cytokinin ratio. Tissue culture involves the culture of totipotent cells in a nutrient media under sterile condition. The mass of totipotent cell is known as callus. It is unorganized actively dividing the mass of cells maintained in culture. It has the meristematic cell which has ample amount of cytoplasm to trigger cell division. It is treated with the growth hormones to allow the cell division and differentiation. Callus when treated with nutrient media with the high percentage of auxin it promotes rooting and when it is treated with media with the high percentage of cytokinin it stimulates cell maturation, differentiation and finally, promotes the development of stem. Question number 14. Fusion of unrelated gametes is called underscore. Option A. Dichogamy. Option B. Fertilization. Option C. Autogamy. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. Fertilization. The fusion of unrelated gametes is called fertilization. Gametes can differ in size and form. Fertilization is a series of reactions leading to gametic fusion and formation of a diploid cell called zygote. In plants, the gametes are pollen male gamete and egg cell female gamete. Question number 15. The property of an undifferentiated cell that has the potential to develop into an entire plant is called Option A. Budding Option B. Cloning Option C. Subpotency Option D. Totipotency The correct answer is Option D. Totipotency Totipotency is the ability of a single cell to divide and produce all of the differentiated cells in an organism. For example, Spores and zygotes are examples of totipotent cells. Hence a plant cell has the potential to develop into a full plant. The property is called totipotency. Question number 16. Bryophyllum digremontianum reproduces by Option A. Vegetative propagation Option B. Budding Option C. Fission Option D. Fragmentation The correct answer is Option A. Vegetative Propagation Reproduction in bryophyllum occurs asexually through vegetative propagation by leaves. The leaf of bryophyllum is broad and has notches at its margins. Buds arise from the notches. These buds are called epiphyllous buds. These buds can give rise to new plants with adventitious roots, shoots and small leaves. The new plants then detach from the leaves and develop into a mature plant after coming in contact with the soil. Question number 17. When living tissue from a plant is extracted and placed in a medium, it is called underscore. Option A. Horticulture. Option B. Transplantation. Option C. Explant. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Explant. A cell, tissue or a piece of plant organ is extracted from the plant as an explant. It is sterilized and placed in a nutrient medium. The cells absorb nutrients and start multiplying. Question number 18. Budding, in hydra, is a form underscore. Option A. Apoptosis. Option B. Sexual reproduction. Option C. Asexual reproduction. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Asexual reproduction. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which a new organism develops from an outgrowth or bud due to cell division at one particular site. 
Organisms such as Hydra use regenerative cells for reproduction in the process of budding. Question number 19. Which is not a method of vegetative propagation? Option A. Micropropagation. Option B. Layering. Option C. Budding. Option D. Sewing. The correct answer is Option D. Sewing. Vegetative propagation is a form of asexual reproduction of a plant. Here, only one plant is involved and the offspring is the result of one parent. The new plant is genetically identical to the parent. Micropropagation is the practice of rapidly multiplying stock plant material to produce a large number of progeny plants, using modern tissue culture methods. Layering is a means of plant propagation, in which a portion of an aerial stem grows roots while still attached to the parent plant and then detaches as an independent plant. Sowing is to scatter the seeds over the land for growth. Question number 20. The development of root and shoot in tissue culture is determined by underscore. Option A. Temperature. Option B. Nutrients. Option C. Oxen and cytokinin ratio. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Oxen and cytokinin ratio. Oxen cytokinin ratio used in culture media determines the degree of shoot and or root formation in tissue culture. A high ratio of cytokinin to auxin favors shoot production, whereas a high auxin to cytokinin ratio favors root production. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.